Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There was one SBC yesterday released on FC24 that just makes me kind of chuckle, as it seems like EA is playing right into the fact that they know this card is so meta, and it's going to be so frustrating to people playing this game. So I have to talk about that content, and also something that dropped yesterday that maybe means you're sitting on some free coins in your club. We're going to take a look at that, and one single SBC hangs in the balance today with the potential to take the footies craft to an even greater level and i think honestly maybe you guys agree with me this game needs it we'll talk about that a little bit in a second too but if you're excited for today's video drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new let's get into the content from yesterday first talking about how you might be able to make some coins just by going to your club we had an evolution dropped yesterday these are fun okay i mean is there really any other word to describe a bronze card going to a 95 rated not really it's a really easy evolution as well i love how the first requirement here is just play one game because who wants to play more than one game with a 64 rated bronze card love that play one play four play three play two and you have yourself a 95 rated uh evo design we're not sure of because at the moment it's not even in the game so i'm not sure what this design is supposed to be but a somewhat footies related for playstyle plus which again the playstyle pluses are anticipate incisive pass plus long ball and press proven so some pretty good um playstyle pluses especially for a defensive midfielder a midfielder or a center back and guys this is the big thing with this evolution right since it's four playstyle pluses since the stat boost look pretty crazy a lot of cards specifically the bronzes are going crazy in price i went into my club right after this evolution dropped yesterday and i kid you not i probably made about fifty thousand coins selling about 15 cards that were in my club some of them selling for like 5k some selling for one to two thousand coins these cards are popping up and down in price all the time some of them are staying extinct at 10,000 coins or near their max price of 10k just because so many people are wanting to do them and other ones have prices where they go up to like 10,000 coins then they'll drop back down i just sold this mbete who was in my club for 4,000 coins and that was a card i had just packed from doing the daily gold upgrade sbcs that's a big part of this as well we've been stacking up these bronze cards in our club without even knowing it from sbcs like the daily gold upgrade that gives us tradable bronzes and silvers this is a great time to go through and check your club. Obviously, one of the biggest things here is that people are worried you're going to be market banned. And there have been big issues in the past this year with market bans related to selling silvers and bronze cards up for really high prices. Now, it was yesterday, so maybe we don't know if there's going to be bans for it or not. But I sold a Oscar Bob from my club at 10,000 coins. And a lot of these other cards that are just, you know, 5K, 3K, 4K, 8K uh, for this Bell Joe Bellingham right here. To be honest, guys, if you're just selling one from your club you shouldn't keyword is shouldn't have a problem with market bans or transfer bans or coin wipes or anything like that the only times i think you're really at risk for a transfer ban is if you're selling multiple of the same card that you invested in before the evolution came out and then you're selling quickly in a row so if you have a lot of cards that you're sitting on or maybe you had invested at some point just sell them maybe slowly and be careful with it but just again a look at this evo it is pretty fun um again you can't expect a card like this to be be super duper meta yes it's gonna have good play style pluses but again when you look into the back end of a lot of these cards sure they look good statistically and they have good play style pluses but they also don't have very many play styles right so again don't expect to get a super meta card here just something that is fun probably gonna play pretty generic in game with without you know signature body types and stuff like that and even face scans on some of these cards too but for sure take a fun card from your favorite club or your favorite nationality play a few games and then boost them up honestly when have we ever had something like this in ultimate team with the evos this year it's just opened up a whole new world of possibilities so for that aspect i absolutely love it now let's talk about sbcs because that's where most of the content was yesterday pretty quiet day of content but there were some gems and first thing i want to talk about is this 92 plus Golazo, great to the game or footies icon upgrade pack now it's not a player pick but since it's a pack it's a lot cheaper now i mentioned in yesterday's video maybe they were going to add footies in i'm surprised that they did but i love it also the greats of the game icons from this pack are the most commonly packed if you want to see some of them opened we opened them and uploaded on the second channel yesterday 
I'll link that above right here. Honestly, for the price, this is a really good value SBC. Only an 84 and an 87 rated squad to get it done. We can do it two times. I did it first time. I got a duplicate, unfortunately, Jabi Alonzo. But for 117,000 coins, guys, a lot of the packs that we saw yesterday open from this were icons that were around the 100,000 coin range or maybe even a little bit more like Zanetti, Cannavaro. You know, even Javi, we packed a Fernando Torres yesterday. He's 250,000 coins. Uh, we packed a Gerd Muller. He's 176K. So when you look at it from an SBC value standpoint, the chances of you, especially since the greats of the game cards were the most packable, the chances of you getting a card that is around or greater than the SBC value, especially when we're really not paying 117K for this. Maybe you're buying one or two or three cards to get this SBC done. The rest of which you can do from your club. 84 times 10s are very easy to help craft this as well. It is a no-brainer SBC just for the fun of it. Yes, it's a bit of a gamble. You could get somebody who's not very good. We saw Golazo Charlton's and some Golazo cards packed that had greats of the game or even footies versions, which was a bit unfortunate, of course, but it's a great value and it's just fun, right? I know it's a lot cheaper than the other icon picks. So some people say, oh, this one's not worth it. But for the price, it is definitely worth the risk and worth the try just because it is so cheap. And it is going to refresh as well in a couple of days. I think that'll be on Wednesday when it refreshes and we'll have another chance at it as well, which is lovely with the 84 times 10 and with the cheap aspect of that SBC. Now let's go to the player SBCs where we had a Billy. She was leaked before content yesterday. Another kind of shapeshifter position change icon footies card here. This one had promise until I saw the work rates. This one to me really feels like an interesting card. The price is fine. 380,000 coins. She had a very, very good foot birthday card. She had a foot birthday icon as we see actually earlier on too. Remember there was a player pick between both of her foot birthday versions. This one has five star skills is a right wing, but again, medium high. I feel like this is best for a box to box midfielder card in game. That's going to be a little more defensive, but with 99 pace feels like it should be more attacking and her play style plus is lend to her maybe being on a right wing. I'm not sure about acrobatic plus, but the whipped pass plus power shot and quick step is more of a right mid right wing type of card. It just doesn't quite make sense to me. It feels like if you're going to do a Billy, you're going to be running a four, four, two, maybe a three, five, two with a, a wing or a right mid, or maybe even a wing back. So that's just the confusing part about this card is like, where does she fit in game with the work rates with the play style pluses? That's the only thing that I don't like here. If this card was not position changed and just a center midfielder, maybe even a little bit less pace with more physical, it would have been a mental SBC. So this is kind of the first time where a footies position change player for one of these footies hero or icons has been a little bit lackluster and the position change has not treated the player very well. The other SBC is the one that I'm always on about today, guys. It is the Sorloth because we were shocked. I was shocked to see Sorloth getting another SBC because he just had one like what a month ago or maybe that was a month and a half ago by now two months ago but during La Liga team of the season remember the team of the season Sorloth card that came out that like everybody was doing 2,000 thumbs up on this card it was only a hundred thousand coins and here we are two months later with a Sorloth that is even cheaper than that one with a nice boost on the previous card that he had and he's just as meta just as OP it even looks aesthetically pleasing with the color of the kit, that yellow on gold, the gold on gold on the pink card. It looks very nice. Guys, this is a very meta card, a certified FIFA legend, this Sorloth is. He's got Chip Shot, who cares? Trevella, that's kind of mid anyway. It's Aerial Plus and the six foot five capabilities of Sorloth and how overpowered he always is in game. 99 finishing, shot power, 99 sprint speed, by the way. Don't overlook that. Mostly lengthy with 99 sprint speed. He is going to fly on long through balls, on crosses. He's going to get in behind the fence very easily. 99 composure as well. Uh, 99 heading, jumping, stamina, strength, and 97 aggression. This man is going to be an absolute beast. He even has rapid play style regular. So what a card. It's free. Get it done. I even look at this. This is part of the fun thing with footies, right? Not a single gold card in this SBC that I'm about to submit. I really have nowhere else to put these random fodder cards I keep hacking from 84 times 10s and 81 plus player picks. So we welcome them to the club with the Sorloth, right? That's kind of the great part of the footies batch one re-release being in packs right now and part of the menu grind being so great. You can get cards like that Sorloth for virtually free. But it just, it just kind of makes me laugh because 
it seems like EA is playing straight into the meta of this game, right? Think about it. Everybody right now in their squads, like if this was not my French, France Weekend League team, if it was my main squad, you would of course see the Weghorst. And a lot of people have Weghorst when I'm playing in Weekend League. I'm sure you guys have seen him this weekend or maybe Crouch or some other sort of Aerial Plus type striker. That's just like the meta right now. Aerial Plus is the playstyle plus that everybody is looking for because it is the most OP in attackers and defenders. And it's just kind of funny that EA is like, honestly recognizing that in a sense and saying, oh, hey, here's a card that you guys know is always super meta and super busted in this game. We're going to make him super cheap, give him out to everybody, make it super frustrating to play weekend league as people are going to now be loading in with Sorloth and Wakehorse and be trying to throw crosses in and slam dunk on your defenders. It's like EA are just playing into the meta of the game in their own right, knowing that Aerial Plus is so busted so it's kind of funny to laugh about but I'm not even very excited now to go in the foot champs and probably face Sorloth just about every game but since he is basically free it is a fun SPC card to at least try I remember the Tot Sorloth didn't last in my team that long so you know Kaka probably better than Sorloth but he's a fun one to try at the very least so get that one done now with all these SPCs I do want to touch on fodder you may have seen my transfer list as we clicked through it just a bit ago I took the cash on team of the seasons cards yesterday a couple of them sold for like 57,000 coins for the higher rated ones but most of them sold for north of 52 to 53,000 coins with the higher rated ones selling at 55 here i did sell a few slaughterbacks on friday at 35 should have held on there for sure but most of these i was selling around 53k or above huge profits on the 50 some cards that i bought here i ended up making around a million coins on a four day hold todd's cards absolutely exploded and i think they're still going to stay high in price until we get to wednesday when they re-release again so if you have team of the seasons and you want to get out of them no frisk no risk no frills Oh, look at them now back down below 50k man. It's timing It is all about timing on these SBCs selling the fodder after the content drop whether it's team of the seasons whether it's team of the week cards or golds is the play and yesterday's video we talked about selling 84s right at 3,000 coins. Well, they went to 3,000 coins yesterday. It looks like a lot of them right now are kind of headed back towards 3K. At content, they were 2,000. We talked about it. I tweeted about it. There was an easy investment opportunity here yesterday. 2,000 coins up to 3K once again. And then they kind of went back down to 2.2, 2.3. 2 I think today would be another opportunity to get in on 83s, 84s, and maybe a little bit of the 85s. But the 84s seem to be moving the most and the best. These went from 4.3 to 5.9. Actually, that's a really good uh, fluctuation for the 85s as well. So add 85s to your list for trading today for sure. That's kind of like the best and most consistent way to make fodder because a lot of people right now see this game as footies, SBCs, and content dropping every day at the content time. Let me log on, do my 84 times 10s, maybe do the icon pick or pack like they did yesterday. Maybe they do the player SBC if there's a little bit of hype there and then they, they're kind of done, right? And that's why you see the prices drop back off. And especially with the tradable supply from weekly rewards coming in, I would say that's the best place to be investing in trading. The daily flips on fodder. I know it takes time to buy up like 50, 60, 70 cards. If you have a decent amount of coins, even if you only have like hundred K, just put it all into 84s and lazy list it because there's so many people buying these cards. I bought the Mullers right in the video yesterday for like 2K, sold them for 3K on the very first listing. So that is a hundred percent where I'd be trading right now, especially if you're on a low budget. And yeah, yesterday, like I mentioned in the intro, in the intro of the stream or the video, it just kind of feels like the footies hype has dipped a bit. I think some of that has to do with, you know, we've kind of just grown accustomed to now all the special cards that are in packs and that initial hype of the, you know, best of re-release and everything being out in packs and packs being fun has kind of worn off a little bit. And I think one of the reasons that it's worn off a little bit is because number one, it just feels like right now the grind isn't like super easy. Like it is, but it's also not at the same time because the 81 plus player picks are okay, but they just require a little bit too much that makes it slightly annoying. Sure, you're doing exchanges, you're getting the commons, but you're running out of rares, right? I started doing the regular gold upgrade yesterday, this SBC right here, which is worth doing to get the gold rares hopefully though with this 81 plus player pick going away today we get something spicy i think there needs to be something to spice it up today sbc wise would be nice um and let's talk about that guys right it's all about the player pick today that is what it's all about and we don't need anything different right ea has been doing the same thing one week 81 plus the other week the 82 plus 
all we need for them to do is drop the same 82 plus player pick that we had just a couple of weeks ago right here this one drop that same exact SBC eight golds what was it one rare or two rares we're down for that we're absolutely down for that for an 82 plus player pick I'm a little worried that they actually might increase the demand on the gold rares like if they make it three gold rares and eight golds like that's less gold sure but it's a one of three 82 plus pick really the problem this week is the gold rares if they require more for the 82 plus player pick because it's footies they know packs are everywhere they know exchanges are everywhere and they up the daily gold uh, upgrade allotment to 10 per day instead of three as it was before if they increase the price of the 82 plus pick today that is going to be a bummer really we need this 82 plus pick to come back out and then the footies craft is going to kind of take off to a whole nother level but with that we also need and maybe they don't come out until tomorrow on tuesday and on wednesday but like we've had on tuesdays and wednesdays we've had kind of the nice you know upgrade gamble type packs right we need something today too uh like there's some stuff they have not done in a long time on this game like maybe a year in review or best of whatever player picks it's just all been all related to the ptgs make your mark team of the tournament right team of the tournament upgrade the icon upgrades as well like Man, even if they dropped a second player pick today, if they dropped the 86 plus like they did last week, maybe if they dropped an 87 plus, is that asking for too much? Maybe, maybe just allow us to do it one time per day instead of three times. But I'm really hoping that we just get something else to spice it up today. If it's an upgrade pack, fine. If it's a player SBC, fine as well. I still believe that we're going to be getting another hero or an icon or maybe even a regular footies player SBC today. It seems like they're going daily with the heroes and the icons after just these last couple of days seeing what they've been putting out right we had a billy then we had the food tray and we have had the kaka so maybe another hero sbc were to be coming today that would kind of fit in the trend of the icon then hero then icon then it may be a hero today so we'll watch out for that guys the player sbcs have been leaked every single day before content so i would imagine that that is going to happen again today i would 100 expect that one thing about evolutions though i know we've been having the evos dropped every single day as well that actually might come to a close today because it seems like in weeks past with promos that the week weekends are kind of the most you know crazy for evos and then during the week it slows down a little bit monday tuesday we see less of those more of the evos tend to drop on the weekends but since we can do two evos at the moment maybe that is going to mean an increase of actual evolutions dropped as content so fingers crossed still i have my great idea a footies icon evo i still think that'd be awesome that'd be a really sick evo they could implement whether it's going to be this week or whether it'd be like in a future week i really hope that's going to be coming as a part of footies and uh yeah honestly market wise just to add in a quick bit here um i'm still being very careful i'm not trading at all at the moment i have 6.7 million we're basically full liquid again after spending a lot of coins on store packs we made a lot of it back with of course the w team of the season investment a lot of these cards Cards, they're great to trade with though if you want to grind the market look for fluctuations on these look at bruno Gima, uh, bruno fernandez 330,000 coins 322k yesterday 276 to three he goes from 270 to 315 maybe even 320 all the time that's a great card to trade with only 15k of tax there when you're flipping find cards like that to buy low sell high if you want to be trading there's a place to be doing it and another thing they need to do, do today related to the market, half of these cards are at minimum price now. Sancho's 80K. Of course, Ramirez. Um, you've got Schneider that's at minimum price. Stoichkov at minimum price as well. I think Baresi. Is Baresi at minimum price at 55K too? He might be minimum there as well. Kalulu. Kalulu is minimum price. It feels like half or maybe even three quarters of the team is now at minimum price on the ranges and uh they just they just need to downgrade the ranges for some of these cards and that way they can at least sell on the market but that is an, a market opportunity as well for schneider and ramirez specifically probably stoichkov as well since he's 5-5 whenever the price ranges update keep a close eye on those cards because people are going to want to try them for sure and that's going to mean a big drop on those cards but maybe a big rise so we're going to watch the market a little bit closely once we get to wednesday guys wednesday when team of the seasons probably drop again team of the weeks as well that's when we could possibly get involved once again with a little bit of an investment but until then we're watching the content hoping that ea maybe drop a little bit of xp as well that would be That'd be a nice welcome surprise there's already a lot of objectives here with the cup and adiemi and xp that's inside of that but 
I don't know. I just feel like I'm, I'm wanting something to spice it up. Bring some more hype. However you're going to do it, EA. Just bring something different that we are not expecting. I feel like we're predicting the content and we're getting it right almost every single day. And part of what was super hype about Fridays is was... Friday's content was better than we expected. And there were some prizes like the Evos, two of them, like the SBCs we had for Kaka. Those surprises kind of give this game some life at the moment, especially in the redundancy of some of the content. I'm hoping for a little bit of a surprise today. So if you're hoping for a surprise as well, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Have a great Monday. Start a brand new week. See you guys in the stream later today. It's been Nathan for the Count. See you on the second channel too if you want to check that out. Peace out.